Welcome or welcome back, beautiful human, another short yoga flow. Today we're gonna take it real easy. Sit, stretch, chill, that's the motto of today's class. So it's all gonna be seated, very gentle, stay cozy, stay warm. So come into a cross-legged seat or maybe also on your heels. And then if you're cross-legged, where's the yoga block? <laughs> Let's find something to elevate our hips. So that could be a yoga block, could be a pillow, a blanket, place it underneath your sits bones. And then you're gonna feel it's gonna be a little bit easier opening the hips and then let's start just to roll out the shoulders up towards the ears and then back maybe synchronizing with the breath and then change sides also to give a little bit of a perspective change to your shoulders just rolling them out finding some movement here and then maybe rolling out your head from left to right, from right to left, maybe half circles or full circles. You can go real crazy here, whatever feels good to you. And then come to a moment of stillness as you lift your spine, try to sit really upright with your torso. Take a deep breath in through the nose and take a long breath out. Inhale, you can feel your chest rising, the crown of your head. And when you exhale, your shoulders sink down, super soft. And then bring hands towards heart center. Take one more deep breath in, lift the crown of your head. And then exhale, bowing down, chin to chest. And then gently pick up your gaze again and then wrap your palms to create some warmth some energy, some heat between your hands, your palms, especially in the winter, this is awesome. And then you can place those warm hands and that energy on your face, on your closed eyes, massaging your face, massaging your neck, anywhere that energy needs to go right now. And then let's begin to move from here. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, guide your hands towards your heart center. Inhale, arms reach up, really strong, growing tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, maybe the gaze follows, moving the head. Inhale, up, exhale, hands to heart center. And then inhale, reach the arms up and overhead again. Now exhale, drop your palms behind your head. Really finding a tricep stretch here. Inhale, up, exhale, guiding them down. One more time, inhale, reach them tall. And then exhale, guide your thumbs towards your spine. Inhale, arms reach up again. Exhale, twist open towards your right side. Left hand on your right knee and right arm behind you. Find length through your spine. And then exhale into your twist. Maybe you want to go a little bit deeper here by bringing your right hand towards your left hip crease or your left lower back. And then inhale, right arm reaches up again. Exhale, lean over towards your left side, finding a nice side body opening here. Take another deep breath in. And with your exhale, bring the right hand towards your left knee, rounding your spine, and then inhale, you dive up. Keep the arms stacked. And then point your fingers towards the sky or ceiling, probably. For your eagle arm, maybe you wrap one more time around, maybe you stay as good as it gets and really tune into that sensation in your shoulders, between your shoulder blades, in your chest, and then inhale, release, arms reach up, exhale, twist towards the other side. Inhale again to find length, exhale to twist. Maybe the left hand grabs behind your back into your hip crease, Maybe you can grab your hip bone or wherever it wants to go today. No need to stress it. And then inhale, left arm reaches up and overhead. Exhale, side bend. Take a deep breath in. And with your next exhale, again, cross your arms, round your spine, chin to chest, and then inhale, dive up like you're coming up from a wave and then point fingers towards the ceiling, maybe wrapping the hands around one more time for eagle arm. Shifting the elbows slightly higher so they want to be in line with your shoulders. Tuning into that sensation with your breath. And then on your next inhale, release your arms. Inhale, arms reach up. 
And then exhale, side bend towards the left. Maybe going a bit deeper. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend to the right. Dynamic stretches. Inhale, center. Exhale towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale towards the right. Inhale, center. Exhale towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale towards the right. And from here, you make circles over the front. So you're leaning yourself over your right knee, your right leg coming towards the center. Maybe at this point, release the block or the pillow that was supporting you before. And in this position, really make sure that your glutes are still connected towards the earth. So you're not lifting through your back. You're just finding a release in your torso, in your chest, maybe coming on your fingertips. The head drops gently. You are allowed to round your spine. That's a regular yoga cue that we're supposed to avoid, but in this case, you can. And then interlace your fingers behind your back. Reach the arms overhead, you know, as far as it goes, as good as it gets. And then inhale to rise up. Very nice. All right. From here, change your cross-legged seat just to give a little bit of a perspective change towards your hips. And then find side bend towards the left as you draw your right arm up and overhead, folding forwards and then crawling towards the center. Again, finding that nice forward fold here, dropping your head. Maybe you sway a little bit from left to right. Again, make sure you really root it down through your sits bones and enjoy your breath. And then again, interlace the hands behind your back. Reach the arms towards your head. Find that stretch between your shoulder blades again in your shoulders and then lift yourself up. Nice. All right, from here, inhale, arms reach up and overhead again. Exhale, hands to heart center. And from here, interlace your hands behind your back again. And now bring your folded hands towards your right side, your right hip side. And then you want to drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Really tuning into that stretch that hopefully arrives on your left neck, on your throat, in that shoulder. Just taking a couple of deep breaths here. And then you can gently guide your right hand towards your right ear. And then you lift the left arm up and overhead. Exhale, flip the palm so it turns towards the mat and gently guide it back down. You want to move real slow here. Inhale, arm reaches up. Exhale, gently guide it down. Just become aware of what you feel in your body right now. Inhale, up. Exhale, guide it down. Gently bring your head back towards the center. We change sides. Bring the hands behind your back, interlace your hands, and then bring those folded hands towards your left hip side. Dropping your left ear towards your left shoulder, tuning into that sensation that arises in your neck. Maybe gently bringing the shin down towards the chest, swaying the head, whatever feels good. Also here, adding gentle movement as you bring the left hand onto your left temple. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, guiding the hand down. When you inhale, the palm flips towards the ceiling, rising up. When you exhale, the hand turns down towards the mat. Very simple movement. Very effective to stretch your neck your shoulders and then return back towards your center maybe swaying a bit from side to side see how you feel and then you want to interlace your hands again inhale push them up and overhead palms facing the ceiling exhale palms face you as you round your spine chin to chest inhale to lift open your chest exhale to find that rounding sensation opposite movement one more time inhale arms reach up and exhale, round your spine. 
and then release bring the hands onto your knees inhale again roll the shoulders back open your chest exhale draw chin to chest lean back rounding your spine inhale to open and exhale to round and then inhale dive up again and then maybe swing from side to side and to close our seated stretching flow today come in a position where you can straighten out your legs make sure you sit really on your sits bones knees can stay bent inhale arms reach up and then from your chest forward lean forwards to find paschimottanasana forward fold your toes are pointed towards you and you really want to make sure that in this position you try to avoid rounding your spine so you gain the most out of your hamstring stretch to elongate the back of your legs sits bones want to draw back behind you and your chest wants to move closer that usually entails especially if you're a bit tight and as you can see i'm doing the same right here your knees are staying lifted that's gonna allow you to find that chest moving closer towards your thighs rather than moving from the forehead first and to round your spine which is going to shorten your muscles on the back of your legs all right enough said let's lift up again and then from here come back into a comfortable seat that could be your cross-legged seat again just like we started or you can just come and sit on your heels inhale arms reach up and overhead one more time exhale hands to heart center take a deep breath in lift the crown of your head and then exhale chin to chest bowing down in gratitude towards yourself your awesome body the time that you took to move today thank you so much for being here for trusting me to guide you be good to yourself be good to others i hope you feel relaxed chilled and enjoyed this little movement i hope to see you again soon have a wonderful rest of the day wherever you are